Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodora Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader. I've got a message today for Libra, special Halloween message. And to let you know how this works, I have asked my guides in spirit to bring a message through the cards that will be deeply meaningful and helpful for you as you navigate your journey this week. Since it's a special Halloween reading, I'm also using a second deck to give us a theme for the, the reading. And if you are new to the channel, I welcome you with a big hug and I also welcome you to subscribe and encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that you can stay in contact with this beneficial high vibration information every week. And each reader has something different to offer. Um, mine is a blend of a lot of different things, but it is primarily a channeling with spirit. So if you feel this would be beneficial, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you're returning, so glad to see you. And I'm, I know you can notice that my background is different. Um, we're doing something different this time for the Halloween reading and let me know what you think. Because um, if this works better for you, this might become something a little more permanent. So let's get straight to your reading. Our special Halloween card is Lepus, the Seven of Swords. This is from a celestial tarot deck, and so there's some astrology as well as astronomy in it. So this is a rabbit, the constellation of the rabbit with our seven swords. And the feeling that we get, I get from this card is two things. One is quickness, quick, quick wittedness. There's some Gemini associations here with Mercury as well. So the ability to turn and shift your direction at any time. And this will come into play in your reading. The other thing is it's a little bit of a tricky energy. There's some trickster things going on, which leads us to ask the question of, are we being truly authentic in every way that we're showing up? So that's your theme for this week. Let's get straight into your reading. The energy around you is the 10, not the 10, the king, better, king of cups. So um, this is the energy around you this week. This is a lovely energy. I adore the king of cups. So this is an emotionally available, open, trusting, considerate, kind of flowing type of person. They may not always be the most practical, but they're definitely going to be emotionally in tune. They have very strong intuition vibes about people. So th this is the kind of general energy the universe is putting you in this week. And you're not opposing it. You're aligned with it. You're facing the same direction, but you're not in it, if that makes any sense. So you're not really embodying the characteristics of this King of Cups energy, but you're, it's like you're watching it, you're observing it, and you're maybe considering going that direction, but you're not quite moving that direction yet. Now, I don't want you to take this personally and say, well, wait a second, she just said I'm not trustworthy and I'm not loving and I'm not considerate. That's not what I'm saying. The universe is presenting this idea, this um, invitation to be more emotionally connected, to be a deeper, and there's part of you that's resisting that. I will get to that, actually, let's get to that now so it makes sense. We've got the Page of Cups going off her own way, the Queen of Wands going into the sun. Now, usually when I read, I would read this this way, like we're leaving this behind to go here. But for some reason, this page is just calling out stronger to me. So what is coming through is that you're, you're having your moments in the sun. It's almost like this is a very theatrical card today right now. Um, she's very dramatic. She's in her own performance. And so you have a particular persona or perhaps the word mask is better that you like to wear. And you get a lot of recognition, a lot of positive feedback, a lot of accolades for this mask. But on the other side, there's like... <laughs> I just put a funny turn of phrase in my head. There's a part of you like maybe crying in the corner. So that it's kind of a stereotypical trope that you've seen a lot of movies. Like I had this high powered job. I was making all this money, but I really wanted to keep bees. So I left this because my heart's desire was to do that. It's not maybe that trite or that kind of drastic, but what it is saying is that there is a part of you that's emotionally neglected. So 
here's what the universe does. It says, okay, you have the chance to be emotionally fulfilled and to be emotionally like requited, strange word, but you're, you're just like sitting there considering it. And it's funny, we've got fire opposing water. We've got fire, the sun and the wands opposing the water. So we're not blending those two things together, which is something that Libra does very well usually. So it's kind of like the emotions and the actions are not really going together. The intuitions and the willfulness are not in harmony. So we go back to this card here, which goes with the authenticity. Am I truly listening enough to my authentic self? Am I listening enough to that little voice? Or am I too concerned with this outside accolades and glow and, and um, approval and validation from other people? Which one is it? So, I mean, it's a good question for all of us that are out in the public face, right? So, <laughs> so the advice is really about bringing these things together. This, like I said, this card has to do with Gemini, two halves. So we're bringing the fire and the water together. And fire and water can do very well together because they both flow, they're both intuitive. And so what we'd really like to see is this happen. We'd like to see that the, the deeper emotions, the deeper intuitions are brought to light and acted upon. That's, that's the play we'd like to see. Not that the emotions are being ignored. You know, for some of you, this might be an actual person. This is not maybe an internal thing, but there may be someone, someone with a more childlike energy or someone who, when they're neglected, it tends to... <laughs> They just gave me the word disintegrate. They disintegrate into that childlike behavior, childish behavior. So there may be someone who's feeling neglected that you're just not paying enough attention to because you're being pulled off to do your thing in the sun. So this is maybe a, a week to reconnect with that and really do it instead of just thinking about doing it like what we've got here. So, okay, they're saying one more. Which, which cards am I looking at? Okay, you want me to look at all of them again real quick. So just bear with me here. So one other way to think about this is the alignment of heart and soul. So here is soul and here is heart. And right now they're not aligned. So you may be doing a lot of what you want to be doing but your soul may not be aligned with it. Your soul may be saying, no, but I want us to be doing something different, or I want us to be doing this a little bit of a different way. It's hard to listen to that soul when you're getting so much good feedback, when you've got so many good accolades going on. So this is letting go of the external validation and making sure that it's the internal validation that you're looking for. These cups cards live at the bottom of the ocean. They're both actually standing on the ocean floor. This one's out in the sunlight. So this is very much in the depths. This is out in front. So they're saying these need to be balanced, that your inner and your outer desires are flowing and combined and harmonious with each other so that you're even more powerful. So again, remember that question of authenticity, the heart and the soul, are we really together? And if you have questions or comments, please reach out. I love hearing from you every week. It means so much. And I also wanted to let you know that if you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one reading, I do them over Zoom. And I can also offer pre-recorded readings where um, uh, you may ask a question or just want me to look at a situation and I can record the answer for you and send you the video. If you're very busy and you don't have time, that can be a great way to still get the information on your own schedule. So I will see you next time and have a great week.